and this is Stitchless TV. Now, today on Stitchless TV, we are going to unbox this bias tape maker and I'll show you how to use it. Let's have a look. So, it has this clip here. So, we undo that. Ooh. So, I don't know what anything's for yet, but here you go, you can have a look. Okay, I've had a little play off camera, so I'm ready to show you what it does and how you make bias binding with it. First of all, let me show you this bit. So, you take this out. You take this out and you place it in the groove there. And then this one, you wind your bias binding onto and you have it loaded up so it's mainly on the left. So it's in line with that spindle thing here. So this is the actual bias binding maker part where it folds it. And the way that it goes on is that you place that in there first and then look, that just sort of clips in there and you squeeze it to release it because you need to feed in your bias binding um, into here first of all. Now this is the hot, really hot plate. That's the ceramic plate. It's a bit like straightening your hair really. And then these are rollers that push your bias binding along. Now what I have found and they didn't really specify this when you put it back you do actually need to push it up so it's tight okay so if I loosen that because you can see there's like a little step there so that's obviously got to clip in now I think that's really important and maybe I missed it but I didn't see it in their instructions right so when you are ready and when you've got it all in place and I'm going to demonstrate you switch this on you put that to the setting that you need it to be now I've done it a bit more than their suggested fabrics actually because I experimented and then when you are ready you press run in fact no not when you are ready when they tell you you're ready that comes on that light there and then you press run and when you want to stop it you also press run. Now if you should decide to choose some other material for making your bias binding, remember to reset the iron and then turn it to whatever temperature fabric you need it to be. This is how to set up the bias tape maker. So the first thing that you need to do is cut your fabric two inch. Um, a two inch strip that must be cut on the cross okay so it isn't along the grain it's not vertically it's not horizontally it's diagonally that you cut it so you get that stretch and then they say that you need to load it up onto this spindle which is perfectly easy to do. But they suggest that you load it up on the left, which is kind of logical, really, because when you put it in place, it's going to go over there, which is more on the left. You're not going to load it up there. Now, when you do load this up, you don't want to stretch it too much, because then you're taking away what's good about bias binding. And what we like about bias binding is that we can stretch it around curves. So I'm just winding that on there like that and then this isn't really tricky but you need to feed it in Now get a clean edge so I'm going to cut it I'm going to cut it so I have a nice clean edge there and then I'm going to feed it in But you can't just do it like that. You need a pin or something to pass it through. So I'm just using a pair of scissors just to pass it through. And then once it comes out there, then 
just sort of gently pull it in the way that you know it's meant to be for the bias binding now take this protection cover that's the protection cover take that off and put your bias binding folding thing in place now in the the way that it's going to be let it go over the hot plate so that's the hot plate now this is the bit that I think is so important and I'm going to look at the instructions again but I really didn't see it there you need to push it down and sort of click it into place so you're pushing it forward pushing it down and pushing it forward so it's tight now when everything is all set up then you can switch it well choose your setting switch it on and then when that comes on that light there I'll show you when it does come on then it will be ready I've changed the angle so that you can see it coming out at the end which it will hopefully do really easily so that green lights come on so that means that it's ready I've actually got it on wall for my lurex now in theory when I press that button it's going to run out of there so let's see if that happens go wow come on look at that that is so lovely now what I would say about it is now my fabric isn't too thick but it does feel like it's stretching it so much that it's taking away the the stretch of the bias binding so originally I had that much stretch and now it's sort of going um, and because it's stretching it so much it's actually becoming narrower because this is supposed to be like inch wide so have a look at it coming out you want my opinion of this don't you <laughs> um okay i have to say I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because this isn't very thick fabric right i know it's not cotton but it isn't very thick fabric and i am wanting to do it before organzas as well because i like to have very delicate by binding sometimes and i am a bit disappointed that it has taken away the stretch of the um, the bias which does slightly defeat the object but um, yeah so I'm wondering if I could have just got just as good an effect by using one of these where you can just use it with an iron yeah I didn't I didn't want it to be a bad review <laughs> and maybe it isn't a bad review um, yeah okay to be fair to the product okay before I give up on it because um, I am disappointed this is like a 40 something pound thing and it was a Christmas present from my hubby I'm gonna try it with cotton okay because I imagine they intended it to be with cotton so I'm gonna press run and let's see Okay, come on. Right. So look, it's done it, it's stretching. <laughs> I think it's stretching it too much, so it takes away the bias binding. Oh, that's such a shame. So I do feel with our viewers on Stitches TV, I have to tell you the truth. This is not, you know, this I bought this. I wanted it to be good. I mean it's great if you need something that doesn't need any stretch okay and you just want it to be folded then yeah okay maybe that's really good but for creating bias binding with 
stretch because it's cut on the cross look you can see the stretch is gone well there's a little bit of stretch in there the stretch is gone because it's all too tight and I definitely followed their instructions on how to put it together so I'm sorry about that but I'm more sorry for me because um, I was very excited about that how do you tell me what do you use and how do you create your bias binding anyway thank you so much for watching TV and I hope you're not too disappointed by that but um, yeah I'm not impressed if you want to know how to attach bias binding with your sewing machine and with a special bias binding foot we have got videos on how to do that thank you for watching bye <laughs>